in a dramatic escalation in the war between Democrats and the administration, the House Judiciary Committee today voted to hold Attorney General Bill Barr in contempt of Congress. We did not relish doing this, but we have no choice. For defying a subpoena to turn over the full Mueller report and the underlying evidence. There can be no higher stakes than this attempt to to arrogate all power to the executive branch away from, the con from Congress and, more important, away from the American people. We've talked for a long time about approaching a constitutional crisis. We are now in it. We are now in a constitutional crisis. It's a move that came just hours after the president took the dramatic step of blocking the release of the records by citing executive privilege, something bound to spark a drawn-out court fight. This isn't about executive privilege. It's about burying the evidence, Mr. Chairman. If it was about executive privilege, the attorney general would not have offered you to be able to view the documents and then tell you that you can't tell anyone what you saw. I thank you for not taking the latest Trump hush offer. Some Democrats said the move to defy Congress on all fronts means the House should start to take up impeachment. Do I think we're inching closer to it every day that the president has a blanket uh, privilege or just saying that he's going to obstruct the congressional investigation. Yeah, for me, uh, we're inching towards it. Do you think this, the committee should start talking about another thing, impeachment? I think we have to talk about it. In a letter to Congress, the Justice Department argued it could not comply with Democrats' request without violating the law and said the president has asserted executive privilege over the entirety of the subpoenaed materials. Adding that committee chairman Jerry Nadler made this assertion necessary by moving ahead with the contempt vote. House Republicans defended the White House and attacked Nadler. We're manufacturing a crisis. Saying Nadler acted in bad faith after refusing to review a less redacted report offered by the Justice Department, which has already publicly released the vast majority of Mueller's report. I think it's all about trying to destroy Bill Barr because Democrats are nervous he's going to get to the bottom of everything. He's going to find out how and why this investigation started in the first place. The fight with the White House also raising questions about whether Mueller will be prevented from testifying before the House this month. Nadler not as optimistic as he once was. Uh, we are still planning uh, to, 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 to uh, uh, have Mr. McGahn appear before us, to have Mr. Mueller appear before us. Um, uh, the president has made that more difficult by ordering Mueller not to appear. Now, as Nadler said that we are in a constitutional crisis, I asked him, well, if we are in a constitutional crisis, why not pursue impeachment? Why are you resisting impeachment? And Wolf, he said the short answer is that may not be the best answer in this constitutional crisis. He says there are a lot of considerations for that. Not all Democrats seem to start on the same page. Some want to push for impeachment right now, a sign of the divide within the party about what to do next now that the White House is defying the requests on all fronts. Democratic Congressman Steve Cohen of Tennessee is joining us. He's a member of the Judiciary Committee. He was there throughout the day. Uh, Congressman, uh, you just voted to hold the attorney general in contempt. Did you accomplish really anything practical today, or was this simply a political stunt, as your critics allege? It was a proper activity for the Judiciary Committee to take. Barr has been contemptuous of us uh, last week and not showing up and trying to dictate the rules of how we'd be questioned. And he was contemptuous today by not uh, giving us the documents that we had requested. So it's appropriate that we do it. Uh, the uh, contempt that we've brought will probably end up in the courts and it'll take some time before anything happens and it could even be through the election. Uh, I would rather have done inherent contempt, but we chose not to do it because uh, I want to take strong action to show that uh, this attorney general, this administration, this president will not sully the Constitution and the work of our founding fathers and what this country, this building where I am in now, was built upon. And that's what they're doing. Your chairman, uh, Jerry Nadler, says uh, he may pursue a civil lawsuit, but realistically, is that going to have any effect on the attorney general? None whatsoever. He is uh, Roy Cohn for, for Donald Trump, who is uh, standing in the shoes of Joe McCarthy. The Justice Department says uh, that uh, you've terminated negotiations for the unredacted Mueller report by holding this contempt vote today. Uh, have you undermined, uh, Congressman, your own effort to get that information? 
Well, we'll have to see what happens, and that's possible that's the, the, what they'll do. They want to stonewall everything. Trump has said that they're not going to respond to any subpoenas Congress issues from any of the committees, uh, and, and I suspect that they wouldn't have complied with this one. What they offered us was, was uh, just nothing. They, they suggested an additional staffer be able to go. They said that um, people that could participate in the hearing could keep their notes. Uh, that was their, their concessions. It's uh, the, really the Judiciary Committee, the Intelligence Committee should both see the entire report and, uh, and that would all be uh, appropriate. But we have uh, legislation and uh, powers that we have that is necessary to have all that uh, information at our disposal. But as you know, uh, President Trump today asserted executive privilege over the entire Mueller report in response to your vote. Uh, is that a legitimate use of executive power? I think the courts will find that it is not. Uh, they've uh, not only have they allowed these people to testify before Mr. Mueller and or testify before grand juries, uh, they have basically given up executive uh, privilege. But it, to exert executive privilege over an enti entire investigation, over an entire special counsel's report, is unheard of. And uh, I think the courts will rule on our side that that's, uh, that's, that's not appropriate. But this is all part of their stonewalling, delaying tactics. Uh, Trump is just trying to stay alive. He's like the Bee Gees. He's staying alive. The chairman of your committee, Jerry Nadler, says discussions to have the special counsel, Robert Mueller, testify are ongoing. Are your efforts better spent on securing that testimony rather than escalating this fight with the attorney general, which may simply wind up in court and drag on and on and on and go nowhere? Well, I'm not sure what would be best. I know where we are, and I think we're doing what we should do because he's been contemptuous of the Congress. And uh, he lied to the Congress uh, when Charlie Crist asked him about Mueller and the Mueller team and their opinion of his three and a half page summary. He, he lied last week, I believe, also when he was in the Senate. So when you lie to Congress, when you're contemptuous of Congress, Congress needs to take actions. We don't need to, we're, we played too nice with this man and we played too nice with the Russians. And the Russians influenced the election and Trump's in and they're taking all the activities they can and they're grifting their way through to try to finish this term and see if they can't con the American public and their supporters into another term. Uh, that would be the worst thing that could happen to this country. It would just be catastrophe and it would be the end of America as we've known it. One final question before I let you go, uh, Congressman. Uh, you've been getting some criticism, some flack for bringing the fried chicken to that hearing uh, where the Attorney General didn't show up, suggesting your opinion uh, that he's a chicken. I was showing our viewers some video of that. Any regrets? Uh, for having done that? The only regret I have is that I bit into the chicken because there's a lot of photographs and it's hard to bite into chicken and look real good afterwards. I regret that, but I don't regret doing it. I think we created a, a hashtag for him and we brought to a lot of people's attention the fact that he did chicken out, that he was cowardly, didn't appear before our committee and brought it to an audience that otherwise wouldn't have known it. People that don't watch uh, the Situation Room, but they might watch the late night TV shows. And I think effectively it got that message out and a visual sometimes is better than, than, uh, than, than, the, than the talking or writing. And so I think we succeeded in that. Uh, and it was a bit of humor. I, I don't, I've always had humor in, in my life. Maybe it's Mrs. Maisel. I binged on Mrs. Maisel this past week. And so uh, I was a bit Mrs. Maisel-like in that way. But um, I, I like comedy and I thought it was a little funny. And as far as the, the, the late night TV show folks that might not have been that wild about it, you know, see if they get booked in Congress. Congressman Steve Cohen, uh, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome, Wolf.